Yeah. Don't know why. I've never used one that had this. That's like a Double rock time. rake and a leaf rake at the same time. Huh. It. It. Uh. I wasn't doing anything crazy with it, but. So you're my leaf raker guy. I'm, is what I'm hearing. I don't need to be on tape. <laughs> you showed how old you are by saying on tape. Yeah. Right. That doesn't need to be digitized. Take a look before you pull it up there. Take a look at this drainage system that this homeowner recently had installed. She paid a lot of money for this drainage system and her crawl space is still flooding extremely bad whenever it rains. And so I wanted to show you here. The, what they did here is they took this into a perforated pipe and this was all buried. We just uncovered it. So what this does, what this type of pipe does is it takes the tremendous amount of water coming off the roof and it puts it underground and it's got nowhere to go because it's not daylighting out to anywhere and it's just seeping out of the pipe. So you never, ever, ever want to use perforated pipe after you've caught water in a pipe, in a downspout, you never want to put it into a perforated pipe. A perforated pipe is used to collect water, not used to disperse water, especially underground, especially near the foundation. You're still good. This area of the house, the homeowner had a bunch of bamboo growing up and she got all that cleared away and when we were looking at the drainage stuff, she asked if I could bring some gravel in over here and give this a little bit of a surface to it. So we're just cleaning up a little bit and we're adding some gravel in here for her. So you'll see that coming up here in a second. That's a man in disgust. It's a hog's dirt home. How do you feel about that pipe? Love it. Keep using it. Yeah, the coolers, we can bring those back here. This is Sean, and we are on a job today in Greensboro. So let's take a look here. This homeowner already had a drainage system installed last year, and it, it's just completely installed incorrectly. So we got a couple of catch basins. This one's not a big deal. This catch basin is higher than the ground, so there's no way water's gonna get into that. Also, I've got some footage here. This is a slotted pipe right here, and we've talked about this a million times, but you never wanna take water that's already in a pipe and put it into a perforated pipe. 
Now I have video during a rain event where this is just gushing out of here. So this is all clogged, not going anywhere. Harder to use, but it works. You know what I mean? And it never clogs. There's nothing to clog about it. It's all smooth in there. This gutter is just going into one of these slinky pipes. We're going to find out where it's going here. And it's also overflowing. So that's not doing anything. It's supposed to be going across here. They put in this little catch basin, but it's too high. They were supposed to put it right here in the low point. And so that's not doing anything. And she's not really sure where it comes out. It comes out over here somewhere. Oh, here we go. But there's no water that comes out of here. So again, this is a slotted pipe again. And so she paid thousands of dollars to have this done, and this is the wrong pipe. You never ever want to use a slotted pipe as a place to take water to. And so her crawl space has been flooding, and what's happening is she's trying to correct the flooding she had the crawl space encapsulated and spent thousands of dollars for that and now there's water standing on top of the, the membrane in there and so she didn't know that I did drainage when she had all this done to this new house so now that she knows I do drainage and I know her so um, you saw in another video that we cleared all this and brought in some gravel so she's really excited about this space now oh let me show you the, the encapsulation So, there's the encapsulation that she did, and again, that was completely unnecessary if you divert the water on the outside, like we do. Sean, is that trencher, is it in the middle of the machine? Um... And I fit through that gate. I think it'll again. Fit. Okay. So basically, what we had was the water was coming out of the gutter, and there was a T. One of the T was going into this pipe, which I'm sure was ostensibly supposed to carry the water away, probably in that direction. The problem was the way the slope is, it actually was going into this side, and this side is the French drain type of corrugated where there's the holes that are supposed to act as a way of getting, collecting the water, but was actually just letting the water from the gutter go into the French drain and to actually essentially sit against the wall and was causing the flooding in her basement. So we're going to leave the French drain part uh, intact here simply because now that we are moving the gutter away and we're going to take that water in this direction uh, it can actually act just as a French drain, uh, even though with corrugated, it's, it's not going to be the best. It, it will now be an enhancement instead of a detriment. When I was doing my initial assessment, I noticed that this drainage ditch in the front here was pretty much filled in and it wasn't really flowing too well. And so the homeowner had told me that she called the city about it and they didn't want to do anything about it. So as part of this job, we are mucking out this drainage ditch here. And this area right here that you see, she had her, her main sewer line, I guess, dug up and replaced and there was a big hole right there. So it worked out pretty well that the material we were pulling out of the ditch could go right back in there and fill that space in. Part of the job. Oh, they moved the van? 
Yeah. After you finish trenching? No, no. I had a time. That's okay. Sweet. No, I wasn't going to dig that. Dig that right there. You were going to dig that right there? I was not. <laughs> I wasn't going to dig it right there. It was tempting to take this gutter right across here and hook into the solar system. But this system is going back down and around the corner. And by taking it here, we have to trench a whole new trench and we have to cut the curb. But it's a shorter, more direct discharge point. And so, again, the whole point of this is to get the water out of here. And so instead of trying to get the water to go all the way around, all the way around and down, even though it's a lot more work, we're just taking it straight down here. That's gonna give, and that's a lot of, that's half the roof right there, or a quarter of the roof at least. And this is also one of the main problems, like Jeremy already explained. So we're doing the most direct route, even though it's a lot more work, just to get this water out of here. What are you guys doing? Looks good, we'll get that patched back up when we're done. So we got this gutter caught. We got our weed fabric in here. Everything is sloping downhill. And we did gravel all around this catch basin and drill holes in it. So that should catch water, subsurface water as well. We've got our pipe coming down here and we're heading down to the road over there. We lost all of our fall right here. So we had to retrench this. So that slows down a little bit, but we got good fall now. What's that? What does that look like to you? Is that a rock? Looks like it. Okay. I'm like, surely they ain't a gas rock. <laughs> lesson here you know how we piece all the ends together we'll kind of get them set in place start cutting and get them put in place and then when we actually glue them together the angles are never right anytime you're using multiple angles here we never push them in all the way mm -hmm. you can't because you can't get them back out mm -hmm. but once you put the glue on it and you get that extra half to three quarters of an inch it changes everything so we ended up with one less connector over here and a different angle than we started off with altogether once it started 
But if you walk around, it's uh, it's the way you like it. Okay. You know how you like it. Perfect. Yep. yep. It's sloping okay. down on all sides, and it's got it's got gravel around it. Oh, okay. So if any water gets in there, it'll it'll come up and then exit the pipe, oh. drain out of the pipe. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because that is. We trenched all the way across into the gate, across the driveway. And there's our outfall. We mucked out this drainage ditch. And there's our outfall from, from that gutter right there, the one that went under the gravel. And oftentimes when you muck out a ditch, you'll find it, it kind of like releases the pressure and you'll see water popping up. So this is also water that's in this is subsurface water. And now that we've got this ditch flowing right, it's not going to back that up anymore. So this subsurface water has a place to go as well now that we got this ditch mucked out the right way. There's that outfall. And we just caught this gutter. This one wasn't really a huge deal, but since we were here, we wanted to get this water away from the foundation. And this big hole right here, we got this filled in too. Hey, Jim. All right, let's go see how we did. Ooh. So remember when I was talking about your existing drainage system and I said it should be like gushing? Yeah. That's what it should do. That's just the that's just the hose. You know what I mean? So when it's really raining, that thing should just be like just oh just dumping. Yep. Okay. And every every time you see water coming out of one of these pipes, that's water you no longer have to deal with. Right. <laughs> I'm back out here. It's been a couple of months. But I wanted to check on these see how they're doing that one's flowing real well kind of stopped raining on me try to get out here during a really heavy downpour to watch those pipes gush but the rain slowed down that one's flowing pretty good too and we mucked out this ditch for her <clears throat> and it looks like it's doing okay at least it's flowing. This one's flowing pretty well. Right there. And there's that one flowing. Somebody moved these rocks around, it looks like. I don't really like that. But there it is. All headed down to the drainage basin.